The hacks I'm about to show you won't only make you better, but also a tiny bit wealthier. And no wonder it's taken me so long to discover some of these hacks, as I imagine the people that already are in the know probably don't want to let the secrets out. So I have cultivated five affordable hacks that will range from improving your golf game to finding equipment for less than a tenner. Let's start off with the best investment any golfer should have in their arsenal. The magic sponge, any brand, any variety, turns your golf clubs from this to, well, this. And whether you want to freshen up your bag or purely add value, this without a doubt is the best method from doing it. But we spend a lot of time cleaning heads. I know I did, especially when I started. Whereas I wanna show you one of the mistakes I made, especially when I started playing the game, and never actually focusing on the top end of the golf club. Grips cost you a lot of money nowadays, but leaving your grips in poor condition honestly doesn't help, as we just have to grip the club tighter, which could lead to many faults throughout your game. As I'll show you, it looks like a clean grip, but evidently it isn't. Distance costs money, or so we're told. But as I'll show you with accessories that you already own, here's how you can gain 20, 30, 40 yards with the big stick. Ball speed is nice, but means absolutely nothing if your launch and spin numbers are off. So let's set up this easy tee and head cover hack at the range so you know you're doing it right without the need of some pretty serious kit. Highly advise using an older driver for this if you're afraid of scratching your shiny new one. Head cover on the ground is here to make sure your swing path is pretty neutral as a lot of people tend to come over the top and hit down on the ball. And we're gonna tee the ball up as high as possible. I know this works as when I was practicing long drive, my angler attack on the up went through the roof. A quick tip is to tilt your shoulders up to the sky to help try and hit the ball off this high tee, but otherwise trial and error. If you do, however, see the ball keep going to the right, it's probably because your club face is too open and don't be afraid to strengthen up your grip in the meantime, just so that you can start seeing that draw shape and grow a tiny bit of confidence. One of the biggest questions I always get is what's the best driver for me and what's the best irons for myself? Apart from an educated guess, I need to see that person's swing and numbers. Too many people are scared of doing this, but I promise you most professionals be happy to help if you're honest with them. Go for a brand new club fit, pay for the hours session up front and be honest that you want to buy second hand, but you want to know what head type, what shaft, what loft would be best suited for you. If you want tailor-made, tightless, Callaway, etc., go and get fitted for that brand. Find out if you need a draw bias head, a stiff shaft, 12 degrees of loft, and then depending on your budget, go a few years back. For example, if you have a 150 pound budget and you like tightless, get fitted for the TSR. But with your new specifications laid out, go and buy light for light. For example, 10 and a half regular flex TS2, easily for 150 pounds. I promise you for the majority of golfers of a handicap of 10 and above, this will be close enough because even a fully fitted driver won't be right for you through parts of the year due to swing changes, amount of practice, time of day you're playing, etc. Before I show you my bargain golf club find hack, the last affordable hack I have for you is knowing that the one piece of equipment in your bag is actually right for you, considering it's used for the entirety of the round. Now I did a full video on how to find the best ball for you and considering my partnership with Vice, I will use them to demonstrate this hack, but every manufacturer has a similar price structure and similar ball structure. Now, if you've been playing the game for less than a year, let's be honest, these will very much do. The biggest mistake I see too many golfers make is spending an enormous amount of time researching their golf clubs and very little time into a golf ball that performs the best for their game. We search for expensive clubs that can give us more ball speed, better launch and feel around the greens in relation to their level. Whereas the majority of the time you can find an affordable ball, which might not be the brand's most premium choice like these Vice Pro Plus, but instead like the Vice Tour option, which would suit your game better and not necessarily cost as much money. If you're not sure which ball is best for you, Vice Golf actually have a free ball fitting tool. So if you're curious, I highly recommend trying that out to see if you're using the ball that is somewhere near your level. So if you've been watching for a while, I love good golf club bargains. But for over the past year, I haven't found anything. Hence why the Builder Bagger series somewhat died out because my old tactic of waiting for Facebook Marketplace to recommend me golf clubs in my area just wasn't working anymore. 
until I found this website link. I'll credit the creator and his video that showed me this and he used this to find electronics in his area but what I found is if I simply took out the word electronics and put sports in its place, bingo. You in real time can find everything within your area. I'll show you some examples here and again you're going to get recommended absolutely everything from bikes, gym equipment, fishing tackle, but more importantly, you will find golf club equipment. So far, I've only found this to work on my laptop because when I've used my phone, it just takes me to the Facebook app itself. Now I did have to drive an hour and a half out of my way to go and pick these clubs up, but I wanted to show you what's possible. I reviewed these Adam CMB irons almost three, four weeks ago, mainly pointing out how undervalued and how underrated they actually are. Because for most people, these clubs would just look like they're off to the tip or the car boot. Not only did we get the Adams clubs, we've got Mizuno T-Zoid over size irons which let's be honest a tiny bit on the older side but definitely playable for a complete beginner and a rather tatty tailor-made cart bag but I can't grumble especially for someone that's starting the game it will almost serve the purpose any questions on your equipment or your golf swing message me through sasgolfacademy.com and I'll catch you guys later